Well, that's a wonderful start. It is so chilly outside. And I'm catching the last rays of sun. And I wanted to have with you guys a last conversation for 2023. See the blue sky behind me? Oh, it's nice to be outside. I'm on the rooftop, by the way. This is, this is welcome to my rooftop. I wanted to talk to you guys about the last year, 2023, and what is going to happen moving forward in 2024. 2023 has been a very challenging year. I basically, looking back, I moved apartments twice. I moved from Shmuel Nagid, this apartment, and moved to my apartment in Nakhlaot. And then suddenly, about two months ago, I had to move back into my parents' house, which was not what I was planning. It was not expected. I didn't think that in 2023, I would suddenly move back into my parents' house. I know that it's a bit cryptic. I can't tell you guys yet why I have moved out of there. I can just say that I'm in the process right now of talking to a lawyer and suing my landlord. I think once everything is settled, once everything is done and I can talk about it, I will. It's not a huge lawsuit. Um, there's something in Israel called like small lawsuits, which apparently is up until uh, 75,000 shekels. And I'm not anywhere near that amount. It will be a much smaller amount, but still it is my money uh, and I want it back. So if you guys remember, I was like looking for apartments in Nakhlaot. Um, and the reason that I specifically wanted to live in Nakhlaot is because, drum roll, blah, 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 I am writing a book. So when I say that I'm writing a book, I am not actively writing the book. I did write, I think, the, the first chapter um, like a few years ago, and I haven't picked it up since then. And the reason I haven't picked it up since then is because I felt like I wasn't quite ready to write this book. Uh, the reason that I moved to Nakhlot is because the characters in this book they live in Nakhlot, in that neighborhood. And the weird thing about it is that simultaneously, as I'm like, you know, unpacking my things in the Nakhlot apartment, I'm getting used to the environment. I'm trying to really make the place feel like home. And for some reason, I went from thinking something like, oh, I'll be there for like at least two years, um, to suddenly not feeling like I'll be there for two years. And then I thought to myself, okay, maybe I'll be here for one year. And slowly, slowly, as I'm going through the year, there were certain things that happened that sort of caused me to think like, uh, how long am I really going to stay here? And the shift started happening simultaneously by different things. So like there was a lot of renovations outside of my house that made a lot of noise. And I'm a freelancer, so I work from home. My neighbors told me about this really terrible mosquito problem that happens in the winter that they really suffered from. And there were just all these small things that kept accumulating to which I thought, maybe, maybe I won't stay here for as long as I think. And then the stuff that happened with my landlord happened. And lo and behold, I find myself only after seven months of living there, I find myself not there anymore. Like literally within less than a week, I had to decide to take my stuff and leave. So that happened. I also dealt with the year anniversary of my dad passing away and really dealing with a lot of depression and a lot of brain fog. I really couldn't um, work so well like I wanted to. And I think that that's very hard for anyone who's dealt with grief that you just feel like you can't think. You can't think. You can't be creative, especially like uh, as a writer as a person that needs to be creative in what they're doing, you need to think deep and all these things. It's very, very, very hard, at least for me. And so it was very challenging living in an expensive apartment alone and trying to maintain my business while having brain fog. So truthfully, it's been a, it's been a tough year in that regard. And then suddenly the war broke out on October 7th and everything just went haywire complete chaos in the whole country, in the whole world. And it's just, it's not been easy at all. 
for anyone. So a lot has happened in 2023. So in the midst of this crazy year, what I was starting to feel when I was in that apartment is that I need to write this book. Now, this book has literally been in my head for a decade. I'm not going to say what it's about. I can say and can share that it's a fantasy novel. And, oh my gosh, is that our cat? I wish I could film this for you guys. I can't film my environment, but I literally see on someone else's balcony, close to their rooftop, a cat that looks very much like ours. I'm like, how on earth did she get there? She just, she just jumped on someone else's rooftop three houses from us. Again, I can't say too much about what it's about, but I really believe that in order to write it, I'm lacking information. I'm lacking really critical information that I need about different subjects and I need to go and study it. Now, here's the kicker. Listen to this. I, I haven't told you guys my testimony. I don't know. I've been on YouTube for like two years and still haven't done that, but I... I suffer from a memory problem. When I was between the ages of 14, 15, 16, I suffered greatly from phobias. Phobias from people and phobia from blushing, oddly enough. If you guys ever dealt with any type of fear, anxiety, you guys know that those things can be absolutely debilitating. And uh, it really was in my life super debilitating. What happened during that time is that I basically couldn't function anymore in society. I was very suicidal, very self-destructive, and I basically locked myself in my room and only came out at night and didn't see anyone. It's a whole big story, but I did basically eventually get out of that situation, and I'm better now. I'm living a full adult life, but what happened from that period of time is that I lost a huge, huge, huge chunk of my memory. I couldn't remember things places, people, all the information that I learned at school, the ability to intake information was also very hard. And so for me to say anything like, I'm going to go and study so that I can get this information to write my book is something I never thought that I would say because my brain doesn't retain information the same way it does for normal people. Let's just call it that way. I didn't even finish high school. I didn't even go to high school. I don't have a GED. So when I was at a ministry called Streams Ministries in Texas, uh, as an intern there doing Streams Academy, by the way, I'll link that down below for everyone who wants to see and hear what that's about. Um, there is someone who prophesied over me who didn't know me from Adam. And he basically gave me a prophecy along the lines of um, like what I would do in the future and that in order for me to be able to um, I didn't say it in these words, but like to have legitimacy in this area, I would go and study somewhere. And I looked at that prophecy and I said like, well, he's right about everything but that because I have a memory problem and I'm not going to any school because it's going to come into one ear and out the other and that's going to be a waste. And I really just thought about that like, okay, I'm going to put that on the shelf, but like that is the part of the prophecy that isn't true and is not going to happen. Well, fast forward... Uh, at least two and a half years, here I am thinking I need to get this information. I need to go somewhere where I can study, which is insane. It's insane. It's insane. It's like not anything that I would ever think in a million years that I would say. And so my plan is basically to live in my parents' house for as long as it takes for me to be able to get into school somewhere in the States. <laughs> I'm moving again. I am thinking to myself that it'll be in the next coming year. I don't think it'll be after. So I'm going to try and just stabilize financially and just prepare myself for leaving and going to somewhere else so that I can study. Why am I not just doing that online and here? I don't feel it's the right thing. I feel like if I'm here doing that, then I'm I'm still working and I'm still with my family. I'm still with people and I'm still doing life here. And I'm, you're busy doing life and you're not busy focusing on writing a book. And so I'm very determined to write this book. This book is very important to me. And the thing I'm going to study is probably something along the lines of theology, eschatology, Jewish studies, history, stuff like that. Gosh, I wish I could tell you guys more about the book, but right now it's going to be a bit of a mystery. Um, I think what will happen is that I'm going to try and find a school 
um, perhaps get some kind of scholarship. I already have people that are good uh, contacts that I know that could potentially get me a foot inside, you know, a school. And I'll just be there as an auditor. And so I'm going to prepare for that by trying to save up. And simultaneously, I'm almost done with a very short story that I've written about the woman caught in adultery. I also might uh, open up a GoFundMe so that people that want to support me in this journey forward of writing a book, um, they can support me in it. And so I might give them that little book for free so that they can see that I do actually have a talent that I can write. Um, because I think a lot of people, they know that I write, but they don't know that this is actually probably mainly what I want to do. I don't necessarily want to just write for other people. I want to write creatively. So that's that. That's the big update. And um, I'm very uh, excited to be able to walk on this journey. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, since I started this vlog, it's been maybe two something years, I started it in Texas, coming back from Texas to back home to Israel. And it's been two years. And just crazy. And then I'm thinking to myself, wow, if you would have told me, you know, two years ago that I would go back to the States at some point, I'd be like, for what? <laughs> Why am I going back to the States? Um, and now I think it's very, very clear to me that this is the right thing to do. So that is the update. That's a recap, a very short, unemotional recap of 2023 and moving forward to 2024. And also I wanted to tell you guys, for all the people that watch and subscribe and comment, I love you guys so much. You guys are so precious to me. You guys have no idea. I know that I can't always respond to everyone, but I try to, but you guys should really know that I appreciate you so much. And I get to do this small thing that I love on a very small scale because you are still here to stick around for it. And I I really see you guys as, as friends and companions and partners. and. I like sharing with you guys and please feel free to comment and to share because I, I care for your guys, your guys' life and, uh, and your well-being and I wanted to say thank you. Um, I hope that this year hasn't been too complicated or too rough on all of you guys and I hope that the year 2024 will finally, after these very rough years our world has been going through, that it will be something good and something to remember. Anyways. I hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday season and that you guys have a happy new year. This will come out tomorrow, which I think is literally on the new years. And if you're new here, welcome. Uh, feel free to hit the notification bell and to subscribe and to share it with whoever you think might be interested. If you're not new here, then welcome back. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next year in a vlog very, very soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.